the Internet of Things is something that we're referring to as a kind of proliferation of sensors in the world, of these intelligent systems that are picking up data from those sensors and then translating them to what we call actuators or things that make something happen in the physical world. A great example of the Internet of Things and one that we're working on a lot in the UK is autonomous vehicles. So these vehicles that are moving through an environment, picking up data of uh, pedestrians, of traffic signals, of road conditions, feeding it over the internet back into the car and then directing the car in a safe way. So the policy implications of the Internet of Things, connected autonomous vehicles, for example, is a really fascinating space because what we see coming together are these really complex economic factors, technical factors, political factors, um, you know, who, who benefits from, from, from these things and who's at risk of, in these environments. And it, it makes for a very complex, challenging and, and uh, exciting policy space. We have this massively global supply chain that feeds into these complex systems. So where we used to have a, a car was designed and, and manufactured in a factory, a, a Volvo factory or a BMW factory, now they're, they're, they may have bought parts from somewhere else, but now the extent to which they're embedding sensors and actuators and linking to other proprietary complex um, intelligence systems is making such a complicated product that the policy landscape really is, is having, uh, you know, struggling to adapt to that. Of course, a, a, another big challenge here is that these uh, Internet of Things devices, services, they can't really be addressed by domestic policy because these are global systems. We may be bringing in uh, sensors and actuators from from China, we may be using uh, services that are, are based in America and a car is driving on the UK roads. So really what we're seeing is this added impetus for international coordination on, on Internet of Things uh, security policy. To deal with something like the Internet of Things, what policymakers will need going forward, and in fact what researchers like me need going forward, is really this capacity or willingness to step out of their discipline, to engage with people from a wide range of, of knowledge areas and, and research fields, and to constantly be learning about technology, about policy, about economics. Those things are so intertwined in, in this space that yeah, it really requires that, that openness and that willingness.